Hello everyone, Jonathan Schlack, EA Weather here with a Heavy Weather Update. Uh, first of all, happy 4th of July to all my viewers and subscribers. We have two slight risk areas for today. We have one slight risk area up here that covers southeastern Minnesota, west central Wisconsin, and northeastern Iowa. We have another slight risk area today that covers central Oklahoma, southeastern Kansas, southern half of Missouri, Northern Arkansas, Southern Illinois, Southern Indiana, Northwestern Kentucky, and Southwestern Ohio. And we have a big margin risk area over a large area, and that encompasses the margin risk area encompasses southern half of Minnesota, uh, far eastern Nebraska, all of Iowa, most of Wisconsin, going down here to far southeastern New Mexico. Northwestern Texas, a lot of Oklahoma, uh, Eastern Can uh, Kansas, Northern half of Missouri, Northern Arkansas, Western and Central Illinois, Northwestern half of Tennessee, pretty much most of Kentucky, Central Indiana, Southern Ohio, all of West Virginia, most of Virginia, Washington D.C., most of Maryland, Northwestern Delaware and South, Central, South Central and Southwestern Pennsylvania. So, going over to, tor to the tornado threat for today, we have a fiber can change from actually a tornado today that covers Southeastern Illinois, Southern Indiana, North Central, well, Northern Kentucky, and Southwestern Ohio. We have a two percent change of an isolated tornado today that covers Southern Missouri, Southern Illinois, most of Northern Kentucky, Central Indiana, Southwestern Ohio, a teeny tiny part of Southwestern West Virginia, just barely includes West Virginia, but a teeny tiny part of Southwestern Virginia, West Virginia I meant, far Southwestern West Virginia, just barely includes West Virginia at all. And it also includes, just barely, includes, except a teeny tiny part of South Asian Kansas as well, just barely includes Kansas, just barely includes Kansas at all, except the teeny tiny part of South Asian Kansas. And we also have two percent chance of an isolated tornado today up here that covers South Asian Minnesota, uh, West Central Wisconsin, and Northern Iowa. So, going to the wind aspect of things for today, we have. Two areas where we have a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts to 58 miles per hour or higher. One that covers uh, southeastern Minnesota. We have two areas where we have a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts to 58 miles per hour or higher. Today that covers one that covers southeastern Minnesota, West Central Wisconsin, and northeastern Iowa. We have another area of a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts to 58 miles per hour or higher. That covers Central Oklahoma, Southeastern Kansas, Southern half of Missouri, Northern Arkansas, uh, Southern Illinois, Northwestern Kentucky, I would say, Southern Indiana, and Southwestern Ohio. And we have a large area where we have a 5% chance of damaging wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or higher. That covers Southern half of Minnesota, Far Eastern Nebraska. All of Iowa, most of Wisconsin, going down here to far southeastern New Mexico, northwestern Texas, <clears throat> a lot of Oklahoma, eastern Kansas, much of the northern half of Arkansas, northern half of Missouri, western and central Illinois, northwestern half of Tennessee, uh, central Indiana, most of Kentucky pretty much, southern Ohio, all West Virginia, most of Virginia, <clears throat> Uh, going over here to uh, Washington, D.C., most of Maryland, northwestern Delaware, and south central and southwestern Pennsylvania. So, going over to the hail, we have a 15% chance of hail of one inch in diameter or larger that covers southeastern Minnesota, south, well, west central Wisconsin as well, as well as northeastern Iowa. And we have a 5% chance of hail one inch in, oops, don't know, I just updated on me. We have a 5% chance of hail of 1 inch in diameter or larger that covers the southern half of Minnesota, most of Wisconsin, far eastern Nebraska, 
all of Iowa, Northwestern Illinois, the Northwestern half of Missouri, and I mentioned Far East and Nebraska, right? I think I did. It also includes Far East, it also includes Eastern Kansas, Far Northwestern Arkansas, Northern Oklahoma, and a teeny tiny part of the northeastern corner of the Texas Panhandle. So, going into the summary for today, severe thunderstorms will be possible across parts of the upper Mississippi Valley and lower Ohio Valley to Southern Plains. So, that's today's outlook. Going to the day two outlook now, we have a margin risk area for tomorrow that covers pretty much the eastern half of Ohio, western Pennsylvania, northwestern half of West Virginia, as well as eastern Kentucky. And the trainer threat for tomorrow is less than 2% in all areas, so there's not really a trainer threat tomorrow. Going over to the wind aspect of things for tomorrow. We have a 5% chance of damaging wind gusts to 58 miles per hour higher tomorrow that covers pretty much the eastern half of Ohio, eastern Kentucky, northwestern half of West Virginia, and western Pennsylvania. And the hail threat is pretty much below 5% in all areas tomorrow. So the main threat for tomorrow's threat within the margin risk is the isolated damaging wind gusts. So going into the summary, marginally severe storms are most likely across parts of the upper Ohio Valley on Friday. So that's all I got for today. Enjoy your 4th of July holiday today and, you know, stay safe in the affected areas today and tomorrow. You know, if you're doing anything for the 4th of July, like, you know, cookouts and stuff like that, watching the fireworks, just be aware of any thunderstorms and severe storms that comes your way. Have a way of getting your alerts, you know, have a way of getting your watches, warnings, you know, and information. Have a reliable resource. Have a reliable radar source. So stay safe in the affected areas with today and tomorrow, and happy 4th of July, everyone. Now we'll have another update tomorrow. I will have another update tomorrow, so stay tuned for tomorrow's update. You know, I will have another update tomorrow. Take care.